just as Jesus, uh, when he was praying, and he prayed, and he said, Father, if it be your will, let this cup pass from me. But he said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. And I believe I believe Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego here, uh, it's probably not recorded in the Bible, but no doubt, uh, maybe they got together and they began to pray and, and they began to seek God in their heart, maybe in their mind. Father, if this be your will, let it pass. But if not, we're going to stay true to you. We're not going to give in to this king. We're not going to bow and worship this image, this idol. We're not going to serve these gods that they're serving. And I like what it said what the king said, therefore, in verse 29, says, therefore, I make a decree. He had done made one decree, but how many knows he had to go back and make another one? I love it when God can change the hearts of kings, whether they be good ones or whether they be bad ones. And, and I tell you what, the shape that this world's in, if the church would get down to business with God and begin to pray and call upon the name of Jesus, he can even take what's going on in the world today and he can turn it around if he chooses to. But I told somebody the other day, I said, I said, you know, it's so sad when you look around and you see what the nation is becoming and what they're promoting and what they're pushing and what they're okaying and what they're legalizing and all this other stuff. And that's another message for another time. But I had, I had an, a, a dear old saint of God one time. I was troubled about the world and and my children coming into this and, and not being able to really be there to... To, to do for them like I would want to because they went their ways and they're doing their thing. But he said, son, he said, don't get weary. He said, this is just bringing about the word of God so that it can come to an end. And I've looked back ever since then. And sometimes when, when I hear things that don't sit well with me and I know that it don't sit well with God, I thank God surely this is part of the plan. Not that God's okay in this stuff, but it's, somebody's got to step up there and it's got to be fulfilled. Verse 29 says, Therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made dunghill because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. The king had the, the king they had served other gods it said they had even set up this idol but you know what? They can't nothing. They can't nobody uh, deliver you the way that Jesus can. Those of you that's tuned in and, and you might say, well, I don't even know why I'm watching this. Well, I'll tell you why you're watching it. Uh, I know that I've encouraged the, the, the men and women of God and, and different ones. But I want to tell you something. If you're out there tonight and you need to be saved. God wants to save you. God wants to touch you. God wants to minister to you, and he wants to move on your behalf. But you know what? You've got to call upon him. And, and I believe uh, over in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 16 says, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Church, it's time that we begin to redeem the time. It's time that we get down to business with God. As, as, as my pastor, he says so many times, uh, playing games, it's, they're over. It's time to get serious. And, uh, and I tell you what, man, we've been getting some word. We've been getting some mighty, mighty good word at our church. And, and I know that there's ministers down this way that's preaching the gospel. And I want to encourage you, uh, keep on preaching the good news. Amen. The good news of Jesus Christ and that he came to save those that would call upon him. But let me encourage you one more time, fixing to go to a song, and, and we got a couple requests here. I want to encourage you. Call in with those requests. We're going to pray right here just in a minute. But I want to encourage you, in the world that you live in, child of God, saint of God, you don't have to bow, you don't have to budge, and you don't have to worry about burning. <coughs> Somebody said something the other day and, and mentioned something, and... and uh, uh, of course, we've got all this rain coming and got more posts to be coming, whatever. I, I just told them whatever God's will is, it's going to happen. The only thing we can do about it. Uh, but some people get worried. But you know what? Uh, the next time that this place gets renovated, it ain't going to be with wire, water. It's going to be with fire. And I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I want to I wanna be ready. I want to keep myself ready that I can go and be with him. But uh, we're going to go to a song now and, and want to encourage you. Call in with your request tonight. 